welcome back everyone today i have another video this time is for z as i had some nostalgia and i wanted to try it out shanks to see if it helps with the red matchups um and i was trying to see if this car was good enough to um to make it there sadly i have to say i don't think so i think the car is just too expensive for what the leader needs to be able to compete against the red decks however not to say i didn't find cards that were actually very good because um well first i would just take off chunks this is going to be in the video so i'm going to leave the list as it is but what i would do is i would take out isho and i would uh, i mean i'm sorry i would take out chunks i would play just one more kusan one more isho and i would just leave this um at another 2k counter whichever it is and I found that to be more, more, much more efficient against uh, aggressive decks. Having a lot of counter power right now is actually very good. Uh, your big guys as, uh, as the blockers that cannot be easily KO'd uh, is very good. And uh, I think the, the game plan is just having these two on board uh, is just good enough to win. Uh, most of the time, a lot of the time. Uh, also, these cards have been really, really nice for me. Uh, these are another cards that I've... Uh, Khalifa, you just play it out. And then you use it as a as a as a drawing engine. You every turn if they don't deal with there, uh, you just draw two cards, and it, it comes up, and I, I think it's very nice in the deck as it as it is working. Uh, Khalifa is for the same reason. You just get to use the leader ability, have some reach. If you have an issue, issue out, you get to just KO a lot of cards for uh, basically uh, not too much uh, investment. Um, I think the deck functions very well. Uh, I like the uh, amount of 2Ks. I think you need to play this amount of 2Ks to have a chance against Wipe here. Because uh, you need to combo early on out of, out of all, all of their attacks. So you can tap out for something like Iso. So you can tap out for something like uh, uh, Sakatsuki uh, every turn. And trying to just keep removing their board. That's the most important thing about it, right? Um, with that being said, uh, I have some exciting games to uh, show up today. Also, I have the Patreon now. If you guys want to contribute to the channel, if you want to make uh, the channel grow even more, uh, please check it out. It's, it's, uh, I have different tiers. Um, if, if you feel like uh, supporting the channel any other way, check it out. Okay, that car, the hand had the card that I wanted, but it also didn't have any early game. So I do have to uh, be more, um, like more resilient with that. Now, if he attacks with the... Nah, it should be fine, I guess. I do have to combo early on, though. Will not be trying to take damage here. Hmm. I guess I'll take that one. So he has the, the best version against us of this leader. Which is the one that pumps the one drops. Um, we didn't have anything else, which kind of sucks. Uh, but it's fine. Now we have a card that they cannot remove. They can do this, but... It should be fine. Now, our uh, Isho is going to be terrible for what it's worth. Uh, we come what 2k here. Uh, we combo at 2k. No, actually, we take that one because, oh my god. Okay, well. Uh, we combo at 2k. It's the same. Because I want to play the um, brand new next turn. Right? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, that's much better actually, because I can draw cards. That is important. I think I'm gonna need 
Sakatsuki because my hand is terrible. And uh, next turn, I'm going to go into six again, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, that's terrible. I cannot, I cannot do that. There's no way he defenses, right? <laughs> Oh, he is? Let's go. Okay, so that's the way that we win this matchup for sure. When he defends that one. That is for sure. That is how we get through. Now, we do have low corner here, so we have to corner out of whatever we can. Probably not this one. Isho, it should be fine. Now, we will be able to remove everything in his board next turn, but um, it will not be easy here. The 9-drop wouldn't be fast enough for this deck here. Uh, Sonicun, but he doesn't do anything because he cannot play it. Marco doesn't do anything because he can't play it. So we know exactly the 2k counters in hand. So we should be fine. We take this damage, but uh, ideally we don't take more. Oh, 2k counter. I'll take that one and I can combo out of this one. And I should be fine better. And then we ha we know they have two 2Ks. So we go like this, use action for this one. Uh, we go like this on this one. Actually, it should have done it differently, but we go like this on this one. Kill that one. See if he wants to give me both cards. I don't think he will. Thank you very much. I'll just go here. And I'll just go here. Use action. One, two, three, four. Destroy that one. And then let him go. And then from here, we just have to KO the leader. We have one blocker, which has to save or vacant here. And from the rest of the game, I'm just going to use the leader ability to KO whatever he plays. So unless that whatever he plays has rush, he's going to die. Or he has to have an unblockable uh, effect there. Yeah, definitely taking that damage. And then we have the impact wave. So that actually gives me some reassurance uh, in terms of what I can do. Uh, let's get a 2k counter, I guess. And then let's attack for 5, a leader. Now, something like a Fire Fist of Life is how he beats me. But, I mean, you got it, bro. <laughs> I mean, she could, she should have combo out, out of whatever he can. Uh, one, two, three, four. Kill that one. And then attack with this one. And then let him go. And then next turn, we have to attempt to go for game. Although we might be able to, uh, eh, it should be fine. I guess the Shanks hasn't been doing anything at all. Um, and I would not play it in, in, in this deck. I don't think it's good enough. Like, as you saw, it's just not not fast enough. I wasn't even play, able to play Isho of how fast this matchup went. I just have to play um, more counters and more, uh, like, 
are different, a little bit different, is how do you play against this this leader? Although my opponent did like combo out of this guy to save it, and that's just troll. Uh, but we did draw a really poorly hand. Like we have a minus two card in hand here. Now I do want him to tap out, and if he taps out, he um. Like, if this is a rush Zoro, he attacks for 6-7. And I do have 6-7. And I do want to keep my blocker. So, blocker. KO this one. Oh, wait. Oh, if he has a rush Zoro, I lose. Ah, uh, I have to let it die. I cannot beat a rush Zoro. So, I want him to do that. Yeah, exactly. And now we just go for game. Yeah. I, I needed him to tap out so it is easier to map out his hand and actually go for game. Um, so that's why I was inviting that one. Okay, and we're going to play a red versus a red deck. And Borsalino is going to be very good for us. Uh, this is not a slash character, so we're going to be good here. Just to pass. Uh, this card is very good against them. Forces them to attack, even if they don't want to. I will definitely be using the ability to KO the bogey. I just buy myself one turn. Since I have two of them, I don't need uh, that much defense. And attacks for eight. So Oh! No, I didn't want to block. Oh, I I changed the settings for um, for my thing to auto pass. So I got to get used to that. I used to be just, I got to get used to that. I don't do that. I don't have to do that anymore. Because I changed the settings from uh, auto pass to auto something. And I definitely didn't need to take a damage there for sure. Uh, but we're fine, I guess. We can just play another Borsalino and keep up uh, Impact Wave next turn. Uh, sure, we'll take that one. I have to be careful now, cause I gotta get used to that. I'm not, I'm not used to it at all. Uh, attack with this one first. Of course, not gonna use the action. And then my opponent is playing into an A drop, which we could mitigate. I mean, we could try to drop, draw into it. Oh, now we have to keep a lot of uh, energy here because um, the bo the uh, impact waves. They need to do something here. I <laughs> have too many. Okay, so he has a uh, Otama marker. That's why I wanted to play another Borsalino instead, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, no blockers. Uh, we can get rid of one Khalifa here. Um, no blockers. Let's destroy this one. Okay, we can start attacking his uh, Marco here. It's fine. Start forcing cards out of his hand. And keep doing uh, our Borsalino play. Because they don't die to his thing, so we can have pressure with them consistently here. Uh, we're going to have to do a brand new here somewhere. And then ideally, I will be able to use the leader ability to kill one of them with probably like a Khalifa or with a Tashigi. Ah, oh, we block with this one. I mean, he gave us the opportunity to just easily block here. Uh, I'm just going to use the impact wave now. If he wants to kill one of them, has to use a lot of energy. Uh, do a two and a one. Uh, 
and then a two. Should be fine. We need to be able to pressure their leader back. And we don't need to do the leader ability. So we're in a good spot here because we're going to do deploy, use action. Get rid of the one of the brand news to destroy that one. He has to use the abilities there. Then I will start attacking with everything to just keep getting uh, rid of his hand. Use action, get rid of this three, kill that one. Keep giving me your hand. And then we will be fine here. Next turn, we will be able to kill this two. We have blockers and we should be okay to uh, to get into the late game here. He can no longer afford to attack my Borsalinos. He has to go after my leader. Or if he attacks the Borsalinos, that's fine, yeah. I'll take it. Cause we, we will be keep attacking this uh, Marco. Uh, he only has two cars in hand, so. Oh, that one dies. That's fine. Now, this one will be protected now. Uh, I don't have to worry about Chopper. <laughs> uh, I will combo Khalifa here, right? Oh, no. He played the Chopper. So, might as well just kill the chopper, right? Easy as that. Then, uh, let's play the brand new to see what I get. I guess I get a 2k counter here. And then I'll attack with this one. See if he wants to give me something. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have played that one first. But now we can attack with this too. We can attack with this one too. And then we can play the Khalifa. And Khalifa is going to draw us cards for the rest of the game. So I feel very, very okay here. We finally, we're able to get through his hand. And now we just have to KO the Robin with the leader. Not even a, not even a problem. And if it attacks one of my cards, that's fine. If he attacks my leader, his only out will be uh, uh, an unblockable card. Uh, but now we just win the game here. I don't need chunks anymore. It would have been a nice card, but let's attack with this one first. Let's draw cards. I guess I don't need this one anymore. And then let's attack with this one. Then let's play another Khalifa, why not? And attack with leader, use action. KO the uh, Robin, and let him go. We still have a blocker, we still have a lot of counter power, and these ones are gonna draw scars now. So we played this as best as we could. Uh, the only thing that I did incorrectly was when I didn't kill the bug the the boogie like early on and I took the first damage which I shouldn't have uh besides that I felt like we play everything how, how we're supposed to uh, I'm just gonna block I don't want to give him the uh the out uh, and I'm gonna combo a 2k here which is gonna be uh probably Tashigi here I don't need that one right now. And the nice thing here is that whatever he plays, it's just going to die. <laughs> the unblockable Luffy here was the out for him. But not anymore. I'm going to attack the leader and he's just going to die next turn. He 
he probably has to go after my board. But if he does, he's going to lose. Sure, I can play a long game. I have these cards. These cards will give me the long game. Um, here, I'll attack here. Then, um, why not? I will just play the queen, I guess. Uh, let's discard the 1k here. And then attack. Use the action on the um, Nami. And then let him go. Ah, I don't have much uh, damage now. But I still, I'm, I'm in my good condition here. Like, I, I can use next turn attack for 5-5. Five, five, five. Honestly, I should have gone for game, to be fair. Uh, now he play a bunch of cards. So, yeah, he just loses the game here. All right, this guy, this hand, I mean, I could, but I'm not. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> um, and the turn, I guess. We're going to try to do Iso into uh, Shanks. I think we can get a bunch of creatures out of him. Ooh, second Shanks is not good. Uh, definitely just attack with this one, I guess. Keep up my, um, impact wave. Uh, he took the life. I mean, the issue is still going to be good for us, I guess. I'll take it. I need some cards here too. Uh, I'll do queen. Use action. Oh, I should have played the queen after. That's my bad. They should combo out of everything here. Their leader is never going to be... Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should st stop attacking them. Just so I can get some value out of the Isho. Maybe I can uh, catch a... Um... I'll take this one. Ooh, use Impact Wave. That's pretty good. And now he has to develop something. But I can just block the Yamato for free. And then we can set up now. Um, let's attack with this one. See if he wants. Oh, he doesn't come. Oof. Lovely. Let him go. Okay, so we're trying to set up for like the biggest board wipe ever. Uh, we're going to have to do defense this turn. Play the issue next turn. Um. And then we can maybe set it up. Although he has the A drop now. But he's going to probably put something back into my life. But then he has to do it back to back. Oh, he's going to play uh, that one. Okay. No blocker. But let's give you a 2k here. I think I'll do this one. I'll block. That's an easy one. He's going to play the queen. Um, oh, Odin. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to deploy. I'll deploy this one, of course. And then I can just do attack with everything and then KO this one with uh, this one. Yeah, that sounds good. Get that one down. I think this matchup is not the matchup for Chanks. That's why. I think the the more I do here, the better for me. And now I have my cost, cost reducer. 
and I have my uh, removal here, so I should be just fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, kill that one. If he wants to heal, it's gonna cost them two cards, and then also has to defend this one. They don't have big mom, so cannot really do much. And then let him go. We have the blocker. We can keep the blocker up for this turn. Now they have the A drop. The A drop can come down, but I can just easily KO it with the um, Sakatsuki. And uh, that's I just want to protect my Kusan because it's going to be the most important. I need either Kusan or this one to survive so I can destroy his uh, A drops. Um, I will block because if, if he combos, I mean. If he attacks with a big number with this one, then he won't be able to play an A drop. And that's the whole goal of the uh, what I'm trying to do. I think I need the cost reducers because this matchup is all about removing his big creatures. So as I was saying, yeah. That's what's going to happen. So that's what he's going to play for. Uh, I'm going to combo this one. He's going to play the A drop, send the Isho back into my deck. And then I'm going to be able to remove it. And that's how we're gonna play this matchup. Eh? Then I'll attack this one. Minus four on this one. And then we have to discard the chunks to this one. Um, sure, I'll attack five here. Okay, so we're gonna play this one use the action kill that one and we could save another with another queen so we don't have to combo like a uh, too much into this one it has to commit to try to destroy this one uh no let's take cards out of him it's fine We need to uh, whittle down his hand uh, enough here. Sorry about that. He attacks. Oh, so he's going to play a seven drop here. Attacks for eight. Seven drop is not out of our, our reach, is it? Whatever, they take that guy. It doesn't matter. It's not the biggest deal. We still have like uh, Borsalino and other stuff here. So, we, and we have the board control, which is what matters. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not letting this one die. Uh, my 2-2 two -two case here. And then whatever he plays, actually, I could remove it. Yeah, that one is easy to remove. Just need, like, a cost reducer here. This one, I guess we get the counter power. We don't need that anymore. This one, we can get the Sakatsuki or the Khalifa. Khalifa just removes the guy on board, so I'll take the Khalifa. Oh, wait, I cannot take the Khalifa. Okay, so I have to take this one. Uh, and then this one here. Let's do minus two on this effect. And then uh, attack for seven here. Use ability. One, two, three, four. Attack for seven into this one. He's going to have to let it die eventually. This turn, he cannot protect it anymore. So he's finally out of cards. He's finally out of board. And, ooh. He's going to try. I mean, this is not going to work, though. <laughs> I'm still going to die anyway. Now you have two cards in hand to this board. Three life, by the way. There is no way that he can play a big mom. He has to deal with everything here. I mean, I know he had to probably try, but like the best option that he had was to take life and hope that he hit something out of life. Because it's just not possible or any other way. I think yellow is an okay matchup for us. Uh, possibly like the best case scenario. 
Uh, yeah, he finally kills my queen, but I have a Borsalino now. So who cares? <laughs> uh, this one, I cannot KO. Can I? No. But I don't need to. I can just attack with everything. Attack for five. Oh, I, I have to attack for six now. Eh? Oh, what does that one do? Oh, they're on one car. Okay. Well, I'll attack for six now. And there's seven. And then eight. It goes to zero. I don't have to KO this guy anymore. I can just go for game next turn. Unless he plays a blocker. But even if he does play a blocker, uh, the leader does get around that. So he needs uh, a lot of stuff to be able to survive here. Now this does have double strike for what it's worth. He should attack with this one first. I could just take the double strike, like, what's what's going to be the problem? Mm. Let's just do an 8 here. And then he has to attack with, like, whatever number here. 8? Uh, yeah. Choose no targets, and then I can just attack for game next turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yellow, it's okay, especially this version of yellow. Like, they're playing Odin, and Odin is, like, whatever against us. All right, so we're playing against uh, this leader. And, uh, yeah, that's a perfect turn to play. Uh, I guess I'll get the 2Ks. They're much... Oh, no, I cannot get the 2K. So I have to get the Navy. I'm sorry. I forgot that you can only get Navy. Uh, so I have to get this one. Uh, ideally, I combo out of his attacks early on. Uh, here. Here. And then um, I'm going to attack here, of course. And then attack for seven. Oh, that's great. If he's comboing out of that one, it's actually going to be good. Now we do impact wave. Then we do uh, Sakatsuki. And, um, oh, yeah, I still do Sakatsuki here. Choose no targets. Uh, we'll do Sakatsuki. Use action to remove this guy. If he wants to bring it back, he has to give me extra cards, which they don't really want to do that. And then we're going to uh, issue them. And that's how it has to be. <laughs> Literally what we need to do every turn. Okay, well, that sucks. Uh, but we're going to combo out of that one. Then we're going to do ISO. And let him go. I don't know why he didn't attack with Marco. I guess he doesn't want to defend it. But now we get to do ESO, maybe. Well, now we don't have to attack the leader. Although it's advisable, I guess. Um, sure, I'll take. Oh, now we can kill the white beard. Okay, so this is actually good. Sure, I'll take this one too. Okay, so let's do ESO. Three, we can KO the white beer. And then we go for like destruction on everything. Okay, I like that. Wait, we can KO the white beer, right? This is minus three. Uh, oh no, we cannot. This is uh, not ideal. Hold on, let me think. I guess we have to do the queen then, right? Yeah. Use action, draw two, discard this one. 
then we will attack at uh, the Marcos. Attack here. Use the action. One, two, three, four. Kill the other one. See if he wants to bring them back. Okay. Attack with this one here. Force him to use the extra cards. He doesn't. So now we have blockers to his whatever attackers. Now he's going to one. Uh, we have removal for this. Not for this. This is more problematic. Uh, he doesn't have enough for this, so that's fine. Uh, we should be able to protect this guy. No blockers, but I do combo at 2k here. Uh, I guess I combo another 2k here. And uh, I guess I do the queen block here. Now, we could get rid of Ace, but we can also get rid of Ace regularly, I guess. We can just play a Queen. More defense is probably good, too. Use action. That's actually very good. Uh, I don't need to even do that to KO that one. So I'm going to attack this one, the leader. Use action, one, two, three, four, to kill the blocker. He has to combo out of that one, or he has to combo my leader. Much more difficult. And then I'll attack this one. And then let him go. We're still in the same spot. And now next turn, we just have to attempt to go for game. Now, okay, so he does that one again. But we have the impact wave and we have the blockers, so which should be fine. Uh, I'll just block. And we have impact wave to defend. And then I guess we'll do Khalifa, right? Uh, no, I, I guess I do Queen because I cannot play it again. Um, then we will attack, I guess. We could do leader's ability. No, it doesn't kill that one. So we have to do six and whatever else on the leader. Oh, well, that was enough. I didn't. I wasn't able to. He had two aces, and that that was enough to win. Sadly, I couldn't uh, protect my leader anymore. It's not every day that we see uh, an iceberg player. Oh, we're gonna keep this one. It has four drops. He has an a drop. I really don't can ask for more. And actually. I could board just board wipe him. Wow. That is actually insane. I will take the first damage because it's going to be a, a, a long battle here. And I think I will play Borsalina first. He's, he can actually like tap my guys. This is a blocker. Well, it's not like it matters. He didn't use the ability, so... Might as well just use this one, right? Just to try to draw better cards here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't have to attack him. I can just win the late game here. Um, best I can do is probably play another one. Because now I can keep up my impact wave. Um, we're going to be very, very good. And this A-drop is going to eat him if he doesn't play anything here. Yeah, that's not good. He needs to play two cards, I think. Uh, let me see. One, two, four, six, seven. I guess if he plays two cards, it's fine. 
Yeah, yeah, it should be fine now. Uh, let's do impact wave. And then now we can attack the guy. I don't need to do Isha right now. Unless we draw the uh, the guy. So I can just go six here, minus here. Six here, minus here. Use this action, draw two, discard one. It's probably gonna have to be uh, this guy, right? Ideally, I, I'm able to protect my whole board so I can draw into a nine drop and I can just uh, kill all my opponent's cards. Uh, I could use the ability But no, nah, no, nah, it's, it's too greedy. I don't want a minus four right now. And then he's probably going to take a turn trying to attack my cards, uh, which would be fine, I guess. Now, that's the problem. Aceberg is just a deck that you can just eat at their hand slowly, for surely. And eventually, you're just going to win the game. Uh, no blocker, but let's give him a 2k. Uh, all right. Well, we'll do the same. I'll attack here, minus four here. Same here, minus four here. That should have been the reaction first. I'll attack here. See if he takes a life. Play this one. Use action. Uh, I guess I'll discard this one. I don't need it anymore. Ah, I might as well attack with this one. See if he wants to block. And now it is impossible for them to win. I don't. There's just nothing. Like, not even 10 drop Kaido can do anything here. Next turn, I get to play the Isho, use the leader ability. Like, it's just too much, right? I'm at three life still. My hand size is insane. Like, there's nothing that my opponent can do here. All right. And for a final thoughts on the deck, um, actually, I didn't, I did, it, the deck didn't feel bad. Uh, the only thing was the, um, you need to still calibrate a little bit against red decks. Uh, mostly, uh, I feel like Zoro and Whitebeard are the biggest issues for the deck. Everything else you have a good game plan against and you're going to be able to get there for the most part. Uh, but Whitebeard is the one deck that is just like a 50-50 uh, sometimes, right? Uh, but for everything else, uh, I, I felt the deck was doing what it was supposed to do. Uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching and have a good day.